We've been so incredibly bowled over by how many people are, are excited to try to get their place for this, this job. There are only two roles out there and we've had hundreds and hundreds of applications. If your resume includes experience with animals, knowledge of their behaviour and permission to work in the UK, then you could be a good candidate to become one of England's first ever bison rangers. The European bison, the continent's largest land mammal, is being reintroduced more than 15,000 years after its ancestors roamed Britain. Stan Smith, landscapes manager at Kent Wildlife Trust, has been sifting through applications. So we're, we're hiring for two bison rangers. These will be the first bison rangers in the UK probably ever. Um, we've never had European bison here in the, in, uh, in the past, so this will be a really exciting experience for, for, for new people. We're looking for people who are really sort of empathetic with animals, who really kind of understand animal behaviour, but we're not expecting people to have ever worked with bison before, because you can't until now. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so, uh, so these people will be involved in all the kind of day-to-day -day care of the bison, um, but very much hands-off. We want these animals to be uh, kept as wild as possible, so it's a case of monitoring these animals for a distance, um, and, and making sure that they're healthy and happy and they're doing the right jobs in the environment. The bison will come from the Netherlands, Romania or Poland and will be kept in a near wild state in a fenced area of the 500 hectare site in the southern county of Kent. They'll help manage the woodland by their unique ability to fell trees by rubbing up against them and eating the bark, creating space for other species to thrive. This is all part of our Wilder Bleen project. Uh, the bison are just one element of it. They're, they are sort of ecosystem engineers. They can manage habitats in a way that no other animal can. But they'll also be in our woodland with other species such as Exmoor ponies, uh, longhorn cows, and also Iron Age pigs, like a, like a domesticated kind of wild boar kind of thing. Uh, and this is all about trying to find nature-based solutions to solve the biodiversity crisis that we currently face. We, one of the big problems we have in this country is we're not very able to manage our woodland sustainably. It takes a lot of manpower to be able to manage woodlands in a way that's, that's useful for wildlife. But bison can do that just by the way they behave. The size of the, the Bleen Reserve that we're looking to bring the European bison to is approximately about 500 hectares. And the bison will have uh, access to part of that in an enclosed area. And the reason we're bringing sort of semi-wild bison in for this project is because it's very different to what you see behind me here with the European bison that are in captivity here at Wildwood. Um, they've become sort of very habituated to people um, and sort of are fairly reliant on the, the supplementary feeding or food that is offered to them. Bringing in semi-wild bison from different grazing projects allows that sort of they, they have that right sort of behaviour and they're not going to be too habituated to people um, and they know where to forage and find food.